Hey, what is going on gamers? Squirrely here. Thank you so much for joining me as always. Unfortunately, the last update for Team Fortress 2 of 2020, which was the Smithsmas update, has expired. So it's over. It's done. You can no longer wear your Santa loadouts without people looking at you weird. You can no longer spam your noisemakers. So the whole vibe of TF2 updates has kind of come to a slow halt and people are thinking, well, what's next? What's going to happen? How long do we have to wait? before the next update. Now, I'm going to give you guys my best predictions. Of course, I'm not a future teller. I don't know what's going to happen, but I feel like I have a pretty good pulse on the community and Valve and just things in general, and I'm kind of putting the pieces together in my head, and I just have this gut feeling. For some reason, I'm thinking to myself, I feel like something big is going to happen in 2021 for Team Fortress 2. I don't know exactly when it's going to be or what it's going to look like exactly, but in this video, I'm going to give you my best predictions of what big update or what big changes I think are going to come to Team Fortress 2 this year, when I think they're going to possibly happen, what they could be, and also some reasons why I think it's a perfect time for TF2 to get some kind of major change. Like I said, I don't know the future, I can't guarantee anything, and I definitely don't work for Valve, but I'm going to give you guys my best predictions, and I want to start off with things that I'm pretty much guaranteed we're going to get, because we get them pretty much every single year. So as far as updates go, we can always pretty much rely on at least two updates, but those are at the very end of the year. So we just finished our last two updates for 2020, being Scream Fortress and Smithsmiths. Now in 2020, we got kind of a bonus, or I guess a surprise update, which was the summer update, which is not guaranteed, but once in a while they will do a summer update. But that was also not towards, you know, middle end of the year. That wasn't until August. So you have the first entire half of the year with nothing really going on. There's no major holidays or anything that Valve typically releases Team Fortress 2 updates. But that is a time where I believe the next big update or the next big change could come out. Of course, having a prediction means you have to have some reason for it. Otherwise, I'm just completely guessing. I'm just shooting in the dark. I have no idea because, of course, I would love for TF2 to get a major update every three months, nonstop, forever and ever and ever. That would be the greatest thing ever, and no one could ever complain then about TF2 not getting enough content and major updates. But that's probably not going to be the case because I have nothing to base that off of, right? But for my predictions, I actually have some reasons where I think it's not only smart for Valve to do this, but it's a good time to release some kind of major change or update in the first half of 2021. Reason number one is that I'm pretty sure, as far as I can see at least, every single update that comes out for Team Fortress 2 is very successful meaning they make a lot of money off of us, which is a good thing. In my mind, every time you buy a key, you unbox something, you're pretty much donating money to Valve saying, thank you for this update, thank you for this new crate, this new key, whatever it is, because the update doesn't necessarily have to be extremely well-liked. The items don't have to be crazy popular. They just have to make money because not everyone's a trader looking for profit or looking for God-tier stuff. It's just a lot of regular people who see stuff that looks cool and they buy things on the Manco store or they buy things and trade them on the same community market. So Valve makes their 10%, 15% off that. It's just, in general, more people playing, more people spending money through Valve, which is great. So as far as I can tell, every single update, Valve makes a ton of money. So it's smart for them to release more updates. Reason number two is that our player statistics for Team Fortress 2 have been great all year, especially in 2020. Our numbers, monthly numbers have been great. Our peak numbers have been great, and they've been very, very steady. Now, part of that, of course, is everyone's locked at home. They can't do anything, and other video games are kind of enjoying that perk too. You know, there's more people playing and absorbing content online because they're stuck at home. But TF2 did not drop off at all. We've just been growing and growing and holding steady, which is great. So not only are they going to make a lot of money, they're going to make even more money than average because we're stuck at home. So perfect timing to release new content. Reason number three is that it's easier than ever for Valve to release updates because there is so much community content. There is so much. Think about in 2020, every single update, pretty much every single item we got was from the community, which I think as long as there's good quality control and they vet them and you know they make the theme match and it's all kind of looks professional in nature, then that's fine. I don't mind if most of the items or all of them come from the community because they put all the legwork in. Valve is so busy doing so many other things. The team's constantly growing or shrinking or working on different projects at a time. So let's make it easier for them, put on all the legwork, make most of the content, and that way it'll make their lives a lot easier and we can hopefully get more updates. The fourth and final thing is I think something we all learned about the TF2 team in 2020 is that they've been a little bit sneaky. They've actually been catching us off guard because all the updates we got in 2020 were a lot more than we typically expect. Smithsmiths was a great update, tons of content, came out super early. Scream Fortress, exact same story, came out early, tons of contents, maps, and items. And then even the summer update came out of the blue, tons of content. Like every single update on themselves was really good and they were all kind of crammed together towards the end of the year. But 
All of those updates were honestly kind of above and beyond what we typically get or expect, which is kind of sad, but that's a good thing because maybe Valve is actually working on TF2 more than we think. Maybe the team's a little bit bigger than we thought. Maybe they're working with different community members or teaming up with other you know groups, whatever, and they're actually spending a little bit more time on TF2 than we typically hear or that we think is going on. Usually here, it's a small team. They're not working on anything. They're way behind, and you're just going to get Christmas and Halloween, and that's it. Maybe that's not true. Maybe they've secretly been working on some projects that have been building up over time and we're finally going to get to see them come true in 2021. So those are my four reasons why I have such a strong gut feeling of why I just kind of feel like in my bones, in my TF2 backpack, in my Steam wallet, I just kind of feel like something is coming, something is on the edge of the horizon, and it's going to be out sometime, hopefully in the first half of 2021. Maybe they're going to push it to replace, you know, a Smithsmith update at the end of the year, hopefully not that long, but I just feel like something is coming so soon. But as far as what it is, I have no idea, but here are some of my best guesses. Now, I think most people are going to assume and think, well, it has to be the heavy update. You know, we voted on it years ago. That's the last thing we talked about with Valve as far as an update goes. It's fresh in our minds, so it has to be the heavy update. And that was kind of my assumption too, is that the next big thing we get has to be the heavy update, right? But that's not the way Valve works. They like to surprise people and mix things around. A lot of times they start things, they don't finish them, and that's just how things are. So the, the major changes, whatever you consider major to be, could honestly be anything. Maybe it's technically the heavy update, but it's themed around something completely different. The heavy is fighting the scout, or maybe the heavy is fighting aliens, or maybe the heavy is in a World War II scene. Like, we have no idea what's going to be part of it. Maybe they're going to bring back some kind of space maps again, like RD Asteroid, and have a whole update based around space and things like that. So I think that'd be cool to have, like, laser weapons and more space maps and low-gravity maps. Things like that would be pretty fun. I don't think that's going to happen, but that would be pretty cool. But the update could also be a major overhaul to competitive mode. Maybe they just make a ton of changes, weapon balances, they revamp competitive mode, add, you know, some special weapons or skins that you can only get from playing and winning. Who knows? It could be an MVM update. There's so many good custom MVM maps out there. That would be awesome to get a big MVM update would be great. It could be anything you can think of. It could be, uh, you know, a, a sinkhole, a metal sink for trading. It could be new items being introduced to, to trading and crafting. Like anything you can think of is honestly on the table and I'm open to all of it. Any big major change to trading, to competitive, to weapons, to unusuals, like to anything, I am completely open to it. For myself personally, if I had to pick kind of like one thing or one topic or area that the update would be on, I would honestly pick just some quality of life things, just some things that make the game more enjoyable, lower the barrier to entry for people. Because as of right now, getting rid of the bots or at least curbing the bots would be a major first step. That would be huge. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, technically, you know, you play with enough people, they kick them, but it's enough of a hassle that it just wastes your time. It ruins a lot of games. I can just see newer players being frustrated and just not coming back. So getting rid of the bots would be a huge help. And there's so many little quality of life things, not just weapon balances and bug fixes. Those are all important too, but just so many people run TF2 on lower end computers, on super, super low settings. And there's so many little things you have to change in your config and the console. It's like, there's a lot of little barriers here and there that unless you really put in the time, your game is just not going to be as fun. It's not going to run as well. And it's just not as good of an experience overall. So I think that would be great dealing with the bots. And I would love, love, love to see some kind of overhaul with competitive mode. Because I think there's so much potential and opportunity just sitting there that I think can honestly be unlocked and opened up to the major public with just a couple changes. And Valve just has to make those tough calls, decide what they want to do, and implement them into casual, or excuse me, competitive. Because as of right now, unfortunately, like there's zero, I mean zero incentive to play competitive. Unless you're you and your friends are just bored and you have nothing else to do. And you're like, well, let's queue for comp while we're playing casual. There's nothing else to do. That's literally the only reason to queue for competitive right now. But that's an entirely different topic in a video for itself. And I'll actually probably end up making a video specifically on how Valve can save TF2 competitive. All right, gamers. Well, that is going to wrap it up for me. Before you go, do not forget down below to like the video and also put a comment. Let me know what you guys would like to see for 2021 because I have a strong feeling in my gut, in my soul. I feel like we're going to get some kind of major change or update or something's going to happen. So I would like to hear from you guys. What would you like that to see? Do you want it to be the bot crisis or revamp competitive or the heavy update or new weapon balances? Whatever it is, let me know what you guys would like to see most for 2021. And then we'll see six months from now, eight months from now, we'll see what we get and what happens. Maybe I predicted the future and i'm a genius uh maybe nothing happens and i look like a fool and i regret it and then we just get our holiday updates and that's it either way i'm gonna be happy and playing a ton of tf2 hopefully you guys are as well so have a great one hopefully i will see you guys soon on the battlefield of tf2 casual and definitely keep a lookout for the next video peace